welcome to crash test i'm gonna show you how to uh, automatically circle a point and to automatic panorama in your quadcopter using your ordinary radio this is a futaba thj but it will work with any radio that's got mixes so i'll show you how right let me show you how to set up automatic panorama and automatic circling a point using your TAG. This is all going to be done in the radio, so you don't have to worry about the fancy equipment. Uh, I'm just going to use a mix. I'll show you how now. Okay, so first find your P mix, right? And if, let's do the panorama first. In the here, set up your master first, and we're going to put a panorama so that is on. Uh, so it's DT6 there, so go to DT6, uh, there you are, and it's going to affect the rudder, so there's the rudder, that's perfect. Okay, we're going to put this on switch A here, so good, good, and then we'll make it, when switch A is up, and we'll switch the mix on, right, so when switch A is up, mix will come on, and we'll mix in, now uh, let's make it 50%. Right. So what does that mean? When D, when uh, switch A is up, TT6 will affect the rudder by 50%. So let's uh, go up to our servo, see what that does. Okay, so our DT6 is set. I just uh, got it on here on channel 8 so you can see it. When I adjust DT6, you can see it goes up and down. This is uh, just a digital trim. It's uh, not assigned to anything usually. Right, so let's put that a little bit there, and then when we switch on our switch A, which we just set up now, there is our rudder. There's our rudder normally. And our switch A now adds just a little bit to that rudder. So we can make automatic panorama. So you're flying, flying, now you want to take a nice panoramic shot, hit that button. Automatic panorama, you wait a little bit while it's taking a panorama, nice photo. And when you're done, switch off. Good. So that's pretty easy. But we can do the same thing and just add in some aileron uh, and uh, do automatic circle as well. So we can circle around the point and photograph it. So here's how we do that. I'm going to set this up with uh, independently of the panorama so that we can just set it all up on a switch. Maybe we'll make it switch D. Right, so in here we do exactly the same thing. We first find our master. This time we're going to use DT5 to drive it. So this will tell us the speed and the rudder. We still want it. We want to do the rudder as well. And we're going to put this on switch D. And we want that when it's up, right? And when it's up, we want the mix to be on here. So that's activated. And we'll make this. We can make this quite low, 30%, because we don't need so much rudder. Right, so when switch D is up, DT5 will mix into the rudder by 30%. Okay, let's go back. And now we want to add aileron as well. So let's go in there. First set up your master here. Our master is still DT5. We're putting both on the same driver. And then aileron here, so aileron will be this one. And then switch D, there we go, find switch D when it's up. And then activate this, right, so the switch is off and on with switch D. And we want, this one can even more aileron, you need a bit, so let's make it 50 for now. Uh, we'll need to tweak this exactly, we'll need to get exact amount in the field, but for now this is a good setup. Okay, so that's DT5 set up to two different things. So let's see what that looks like. So DT5, I, if you hold it down here, you can see the effect. And when I switch them on, you can see the both the rudder and the aileron are automatically affected. But that's not really how you do circling a point. Usually you do opposite. So you got rudder one way, aileron another way. 
So let's go back and make this opposite. So we'll, maybe we'll make the aileron opposite. So we'll just hit this down to minus 40. Right all the way down, minus 40. Let's make it minus 50. So we can see better here. Good. Back into servo. And now we can see opposite values. So the rudder is going that way, left, and the aileron is going right, automatically for me. So when we activate that in the field, it will automatically start circling. Now, we don't really know exactly the radius of the circle. That will be dependent on how much rudder we put in. But this is a good starting point. And we can just adjust it while we're flying. Okay, let's go test. video of your own uh, panorama or circling or any other kind of invention using these mixes please post in the comments and we'll share and it's a very interesting way of controlling the copter okay see you next time <laughs>